Hello! Today I'm going to be doing a kind of art related video and it is called 10 Ways to Get Rid of Artist Block. And a wonderful artist on YouTube by the name Nivrel Busby suggested this video. And these tips or suggestions or ways have really helped me to get rid of artist block. So um, I hope it helps you get rid of artist block. <laughs> so I I think that's all I had to say. Yeah, so let's just get started with this video. The first way to get rid of artist block is set a theme to your drawings, such as animals, colors, food, video games, slash favorite anime characters. For example, what I did is I set a theme, and the theme is animals, and this girl is bunny themed, and as you might, you most likely you know that there is tons and tons of animals in this world so there's many animals that you could draw to make um, into a girl or a boy or anything really and then this one is a monkey themed girl and so far those are the only two that I've done but I'm definitely going to continue doing it and what I have here is I just jotted down a few animals that I feel like drawing and I just pick randomly so I close my eyes and I go down the list like this and whatever I land on I I do so I think this is really helpful if you have trouble thinking of something to draw so this is a really nice tip that has helped me get rid of artist block the second tip is um, a few weeks ago I watched um, sorry if I pronounce this wrong mystique arts video and it's kind of like um a game where you choose the theme of your drawing i can't really explain it but i'll leave the link down below and you should definitely check it out and i think most of you have seen it because mystique arts is a better known artist on youtube than i am obviously so yeah you should definitely check out this video the third way to get rid of artist block is try a different style for example, if you are an anime artist, you might want to try realism or abstract or cartooning. Or maybe you are a realism artist and you want to try chibi slash anime slash manga art. And then the last is mixed media. Here's an example of a mixed media artwork I did a while ago. And it was super fun. So I got a bunch of these crafty art stuff um, from Poppy Lobby and Michaels. So you should definitely go there and get some supplies to create one of your own mixed media artworks. And here is one realism artwork I did a while ago, and it is a blue hydrangea. And it was really fun to do, and I used Prismacolored pencils. The fourth tip is try a different median. And if you don't know what a median is, it's pretty much what like the art supply that you use to do most of your art work or anything and for example if you mostly use copic markers you should try some oil pastels, crayons, copics, colored pencils, pens, paint there's so many art supplies that you can choose from to use for your next artwork and um, I mostly use copic markers but I think I should try using some more pens to do my art and also paint. For this fruit bowl I used oil pastels so if you would like to try some oil pastels then I recommend doing some still lifes of flowers or fruit bowls like this and yes it is kind of bad and I did it in sixth grade and I am in seventh grade almost in eighth grade so yes it's very I I could definitely do better. <laughs> And before I go on, just to let you know, um, if I won't be, the fifth tip or way or suggestion to get rid of artist block is try some challenges, such as non-dominant hand challenge, which is if you're left-handed, then you should use your right hand or vice versa, um, the Crayola slash cheap color pencil challenge, three or ten marker challenge, etc. If you want to know some more challenges, then you can look up some online. 
the fifth the fifth tip is the draw this again challenge and I know it should be part of the this or what what, what did I say oh they're both in the fifth never mind it just this is my favorite challenge because I like to do it a lot and I'm gonna show you a drawing that I did that I made in 2004 in 2013 and my improvement to 2014 well late ish 2014 <laughs> so here is a really old sketch and it's one of my original characters named penny and so here is the old version which was in 2013 when i was 12 and then here is the new version when i when late ish 2014 when i am 13 and i am 13 <laughs> So obviously you can see the improvement from a little chibi to a more detailed anime character. Next is draw your original character in your favorite outfit or look up cute outfit online. So basically what you do is if you have some cute clothes that you've bought recently or that you really like, then you can go ahead and create a character wearing your own clothes or you can go ahead and look up some really cute clothes on Forever 21 or something or some cute kawaii website and just pull that all together to get inspiration for your outfits if you have trouble like making your characters have really detailed outfits. Seventh way is draw your friend or family or fave celebrity slash youtuber. Eighth tip is to, sorry that I'm like saying, one time I'm saying way, or second time I'm saying tip or suggestion, but I guess you kind of know what I'm saying. Um, it Okay, the eighth tip is look for contests to enter with theme. And sometimes you need to be told like what certain theme to draw to get some inspiration. Ninth tip is to find an anime to watch. So you can get inspired to draw the characters. So um, if you w would like me to like go more in detail with what I mean by these tips, like for this one, I said to, f to, um, to find an anime to watch. If you would like me to make a video on where I do my top 10 favorite anime of all time or at the moment, then you can go ahead and leave a suggestion. But if nobody does, and I just feel like doing it, then yeah, that's what I'll do if I feel like it. And the last tip is to gender bend your original character or anime character. For those of you who don't know what to gender bend is, is for example, this is a female, my and this is my original character, Penny, and she's a female, and if I were to gender bend her, I would make her into a boy version of her. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video, and I really hope you got inspired, or you really are going to use these tips and ways because they have really helped me to get rid of artist block. And so I just hope you really enjoy this video and thank you, thank you, thank you, Nyrell Busby for suggesting this video. It was a lot of fun to do. So thank you and bye.